So you've heard of this new blue command prompt and you want in. Good. Let me show you the ways of the blue side. Let's start by showing you how to print out the string hello world. That is literally it. You write something in double quotes and you fire away. But you're more ambitious than that, aren't you? You probably want to actually tell the whole world hello world. Well, let's begin at the local level. Start by opening the PowerShell Lightweight Editor, PowerShell ISE. I already prepared some files, so I'm going to close this one down and drag in one from another screen. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, we have the same code here. And I'm just going to clear this one out. There we go. And if I want to run this code, I simply press F5. And we have the same results as we did when we did the whole thing in the interactive shell. Let's move on to part two then. So let's say you want to write hello world to all of the users on your current computer. And let's say we want to put that in a text file and simply save it on the desktop. Well, that can be done very, very simply. What we do is we use the command let get child item on our user path. And then we simply loop through each of the directors in that one. And uh, we're going to use out file, which is another commandlet. And that will simply produce a text file with this path and with this value. And then if I run this, you'll see that some of the directories aren't really users. So it's simply going to fail on that those ones and skip them. Uh, but the other ones are going to work just fine. So let's try something even more complex. So let's try to get Hello World out there to the whole world. Let's try to get it out on Twitter. So to start off, log into your Twitter account. I have mine logged in right here. And uh, make sure that you have some tokens for the Twitter API. That can be found in the following link. And to talk to, to the Twitter API, uh, instead of reinventing the, the wheel and writing something from scratch, let's simply download your first module by using the, the following text that I have right up here. And as you can see, it uh, failed for me now because I already have downloaded it. But if you go ahead and do that, it should work just fine. So let's comment that out again. And uh, if I now press run on this, if I now bring up my Twitter, you will see that if I update, I suddenly have a message here from PowerShell. That's all for now.